Hello, my name's Maddie. Welcome to my storyland, and to number five in a countdown of ten sad poems. Paul Lawrence Dunbar was an American writer, poet, and civil rights activist, and the first black poet to rise to national prominence in the country of his birth. He wrote primarily in the latter part of the 19th century. He wrote about the lives and experiences of the African American community in the years following the Civil War. Paul was born seven years after the war to two former slaves, Matilda, who had been emancipated by the war, and Joshua, an escaped slave who had fought for the North in one of the very first black infantry regiments. Paul started writing at the age of sixteen, and though he was soon recognized as a gifted author, he had a difficult time of it and was often in debt. He died of tuberculosis in 1906 at the age of 33. He wrote We Wear the Mask in 1895 when he was 23 years old. It is not overtly political, and its message can be readily appropriated by any who feel the need to conceal their pain and suffering behind a false visage. In truth, though, its meaning is very specific. It's about the suffering of the black community, a people now ostensibly freed, but still in many ways shackled by racism, resentment and prejudice, but forced through circumstance to hide their suffering in order to survive in the world they found themselves in. And today, it is my pleasure to read it to you. Are you ready? Then let's begin. We Wear the Mask by Paul Lawrence Dunbar We wear the mask that grins and lies. It hides our cheeks and shades our eyes. This debt we pay to human guile. With torn and bleeding hearts we smile and mouth with myriad subtleties. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? Nay, let them only see us while we wear the mask. We smile. But, O oh, great Christ, our cries to thee from tortured souls arise. We sing, but, O oh, the clay is vile beneath our feet, and long the mile. But let the world dream otherwise. We wear the mask. And with that, I bid you farewell. I hope you enjoyed the poem. Perhaps I'll see you again. I certainly hope so. Until then. Hello, Maddie here. Thanks for watching me read stuff. There are lots more videos of me reading stuff over on my channel. And if there's other stuff you'd really like me to read, just let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And I upload new videos all the time. So maybe hit the bell icon too, so you can get notified when new stuff comes out. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.